a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, we have a Star Wars Christmas tree. The ornaments on this tree are arranged chronologically from top to bottom, starting with A New Hope and ending with Return of the Jedi. So to start off the top of the tree, who else should grace the very top of the Christmas tree than a 900-year-old Jedi Master, Master Yoda. Falling down, we have a New Hope poster, lit from behind. We have Star Destroyer heading after the ship with plants. We have Stormtrooper, Princess Leia, Obi-Wan, you're my only hope. We have Greedo, hand shot first, everyone. Followed by C-3PO and his trusty sidekick, R2-D2. Continuing with the New Hope, we have Luke Skywalker and his land speeder. We have a Jawa working on R2. Probably putting a restraining bolt on him. Dropping down, we've got the mighty Chewbacca and Captain Han Solo. Panning around, we've got a Tusken Raider. We also have the Millennium Falcon breaking out of Mos Eisley Spaceports. The Wretched Hive of Scum and Villainy. Alright, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi giving Luke Skywalker his father's lightsaber. More to come on that. We have the dashing Captain Solo looking for his reward. And Stormtrooper gear. We have the all-important battle between Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi. We have, towards the very end of the movie, Darth Vader's TIE Fighter and Luke's X-Wing. Which brings us into Empire Strike Back. We have a snow speeder. Alright boys, keep tight now. Eddie. I'm coming in. And he's doing battle with the Adat Walker. We have Luke in its his pilot's uniform, landing on Dagobah where he finds Master Yoda and then trains with him. Meanwhile, we've got Han Solo, Princess Leia, and Lando Calrissian in Cloud City. And we have the Falcon zipping through the tr Christmas tree at less than 12 parsecs. We have Chewie. Also in Cloud City, unfortunately, toting 3PO around, who is in pieces. We have Boba Fett. Boba Fett, where? Showing up towards the end of the movie. We have the lightsaber battle between Darth Vader and Luke. And last but not least, we have Darth Vader revealing the truth to Luke. Unfortunately, yes. All right, so now we have Return of the Jedi, and we will start things out in a spicy way with Slave Girl Leia, followed by Luke in his new black Jedi gear. We've got the Tidarian shuttle, or in this case, probably the Emperor shuttle, which brings the Emperor to the Death Star, which is under construction. Who better to guard the Emperor than his guard? We have also the Max Rebo Band, who appeared early in the movie. And then lastly, but not leastly, we have Ewoks. I know, but give me a break. I was 10 when I, the movie came out and they were talking teddy bears. So that 
is our Star Wars tree in all its glory. Again, we stuck with the original trilogy, being purists. And then guarding our mantelpiece, we have Yoda Christmas lights and the occasional motion sensor figure. Laugh it up, fuzzball. The Death Star plans are not in the main computer. Really? Move along. Open the blast door. Merry Christmas. And may the Force be with you.